A father distraught over his son's overdose death begins investigating the case on his own and discovers startling new evidence in this case. Good evening. Clues found on his son's phone led him to a parking lot and then to a surveillance camera. The father hopes this new evidence on video might lead to murder charges against his son's drug dealer. Defender Kevin Deeds has the story live from Dearborn where this all went down. Kevin. Yeah, police were looking for 60 year old Carl Shaw after tips came in that he was riding his bike around this area on the border of Dearborn and Detroit. But before police could bust him, a 19 year old college student was found dead in his car right over here. He was a 19 year old who moved from Las Vegas to Macomb County, Michigan for college. A story that turned tragic as told through federal court documents and the teen's father. I got a call that no parent should ever receive. Um, it was from the Wayne County morgue saying that a 19 year old Caucasian male had been dropped off. It was his son. We aren't naming the victim at this time at the request of the family. His dad was told it was a drug overdose. He felt there must be more to the story. He found a clue in his son's phone and flew to Michigan. Investigated a little bit deeper and found out that this guy, Carl, does exist. He is a local drug dealer. According to a federal sentencing memorandum, Carl is Carl Shaw, a Detroit resident with a lengthy drug record. The father wanted to find him, so he waited and watched in the parking lot his son was found dead in. Before he found Carl, he found a surveillance camera aimed at the lot. He walked into the business. And she looked at me and she said, you're a cop? And I said, no. And then she looked and she said, you must be the father. I said, I am the Yo, there was his son's car. He was in it. And there was Carl Shaw on a bicycle. As I was watching the video, I'm saying to my son, leave, go, go, get out. Most drug dealers exchange drugs for money in about 15 seconds. According to court records and the video, Carl stayed in the car for 15 minutes. He gave him 100% pure fentanyl, which is basically a death sentence. The father believes this was no accident. He thinks the drug dealer may have thought his son was snitching to police. In my heart, it was an intentional hit. Now, whether you can prove that in court, it's a whole different story. Police in Detroit and Dearborn investigated, but did not feel there was enough evidence to go to the prosecutor on murder charges. Instead, they went to the feds, where Shaw pleaded guilty to conspiracy to deliver. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Look, if you take a life, you should get a life. Simple as that. Why should this man be breathing and be out on the street when my son, and every time I have to go visit my son, I have to go to 10 miles and stay at the ground. The father was very emotional at sentencing, telling Shaw he took away his very best friend in the world. The father tells me he wants to honor his son by bringing more awareness to this opiate epidemic. Karen, Jason. Yeah, and Kevin, uh, obviously, you know, he wants a, a life for a life, but what does he and the family say about this 10 year sentence that Carl Shaw got? Yeah, he, he does understand that uh, proving the case is a whole other thing, and he's not upset with prosecutors for not bringing the murder charges. He does wish that state lawmakers would look into uh, making longer sentences for drug dealers who deliver uh, drugs that end up in a death, and some lawmakers are actually looking into that. So we'll see where that takes us. All right, Kevin, we appreciate it. Nice. Uh, nice